Again, scores of activists hit the streets of Lagos on Saturday, demanding an end to what they described as the mischievous use of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission platform to malign perceived enemies by opposition forces. Over 80 human rights civil society organizations under the broad umbrella of citizens' action against lawlessness said those calling for the EFCC to ignore an ongoing court process and forcefully arrest a defendant, former Governor Yahya Bello, were not only ignorant of the rule of law and up to some mis mischief, but also tools in the hands of desperate political actors to rubbish the integrity of the commission. Abegunde, who is also the coordinator of the South West Progressive Youth Organization, says they insist this is beyond corruption investigation, but political prosecution, as some sponsored anarchists still went to the EFCC Zonal Office today to call on the commission to use military force to attack the defendant's known residences and abduct him. There have been insinuations that they are even planning to use fake soldiers in order to inflict maximum damage. Governorship candidate of SDP in Kogi State, the person of Muria Jaka, call for state of emergency in the states because they, are, they, are, they have not, they, uh, the, the wound, they are, they are not out of the, uh, the electoral trauma that they went to. They are trying every means. These oppositions are putting every resources together just to cause anarchy in the states so that the, 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 the federal government can declare a state of emergency in Kogi State. We are saying that, look, EFCC, you have to do your job. We are not saying you shouldn't do your job. But I must tell you this, that, look, we should not politicize EFCC. We should always obey the, the rule of law. Somebody that, the, that you, have, you, you, you have arranged in court that has a date to show up at the court, I don't know why the, the oppositions in the state are trying everything possible to bring the former governor Yayabelo down. We are not saying you should not prosecute him. But what we are saying is simple. Some, some people, like I said the last time, some hoodlums that the opposition party are sponsoring on the street of Lagos, we are calling on the military to forcefully and, uh, and adopt the former governor Yaya Bello, calling that the SEC and the army should go to his house and, and break it down and adopt him by force. We are saying this is not right. We, we, are in a, we are not in Banana Republic. We refuse to go by this. The court and the rule of law remains what guide us as a country. We will not, we will not, and we will not allow this to continue in our country.